Stop me if you've heard this one before. So Republicans at the Capitol tried to pass a bill. This one would make people convicted of violent crimes stay in prison longer. They want some to serve more of their prison sentences before they're eligible for parole. Democrats voted it down. So now Republicans are putting it on the ballot in November for voters to decide. Here's Kelly Rinke. When someone is found guilty of a crime, many times they can get out of prison early. For some violent crimes, a person can be eligible for parole after serving 75% of their sentence, even earlier for good behavior. Voters in November could change that. I think people are really shocked and appalled when they understand that because of earned time, good time, the parole board, these violent criminals are getting out at less than half of their sentence. Advance Colorado, a conservative advocacy group, is behind ballot initiative 112. It would require a person convicted of certain crimes like murder and sexual assault to spend at least 85 percent of their sentence, not 75, before being eligible for parole. The measure also prevents someone from receiving earned time until then. And so there's many stories about people getting out early, reoffending. Whether or not this would deter crime depends on who you ask. We have seen throughout American history that increasing penalties on crimes has not deterred crime. Colorado Criminal Justice Reform Coalition also worries this gives prisoners no incentive to try to rehabilitate. This ballot measure just eliminates a tool that DOC is. DOC has um, to help individuals get back on their feet. Longer sentences means more people in prison and more spending from the state. Analysts at the state capitol estimate this could increase costs by up to $28 million per year. I think it's definitely uh, worth that money to keep violent criminals in jail uh, longer than they're getting out right now at an average of 46 percent of their sentence. The idea failed in the state legislature when Republican lawmakers introduced it earlier this year. Now it's up to voters. 112 is an attempt to fix a problem that doesn't exist. So this initiative would impact people who commit crimes after July of 2025. And because we're talking about sentences that are more than 20 years for these crimes, we actually wouldn't see the impacts of this until the mid 2040s, Kyle. This is going to be important. People are going to have questions on it leading up to November. I'm sure it's not the last time we'll talk about it. Kelly, thank you.